In Hinduism, uh, there's a school of thought called Advaita Vedanta uh, that states that there really is just one, um, one consciousness, one everything, one singularity um, that underlies everything. It underlies you, I, it, the, them, everything. And it also posits the view that this one um, possesses the property of curiosity. And that pretty much is a very incomplete, weak-kneed explanation of life, the universe, and everything. It doesn't really explain a lot, but it sort of suggests a way of proceeding with one's inquiries. And it does remind me a great deal of, say, Schopenhauer and um, people like that. Um, because when you sort of ask why, you're saying essentially that you're curious. You're saying something about yourself in as much as you're asking a question about other things. I ask somebody, why do I exist? Well, I exist because um, my DNA has been passed on because there's some sort of Darwinian will to do so. Why does that Darwinian will exist? Well, because we're pre-programmed to be that way. Why are we pre-programmed that way? Well, we don't know. That's a dumb question, really. Okay, then, but why do I still want to know this? Why is there a why here? It, uh, it gets weird, and the property of curiosity in some of us is so overwhelming that there has to be some explanation for curiosity itself. Uh, people will say that the explanation for curiosity is that it's a valuable thing in terms of survivability. Um, possibly, but why then you're, you're back in that loop again. Why do I want to survive? Well, because you do. <laughs> well, that's all very well, but for the curious, you can't just sort of, what you're essentially saying is because, and turn off the curiosity now. But the curiosity won't be turned off. It's not something that you can just sort of stop. Um, so why is curiosity there? You see how arcane this gets. Um, curiosity is one big why. And why is there a why? <laughs> um, some people will say it's an error. Why are there errors? What is an error? And <clears throat> I'm not saying that that this means that you know I, I'm going to relapse into solipsism here. I don't think that that goes back to solipsism at all. If we understand what a why is, what why I want to know things, we're essentially examining ourselves. We're not creating a gigantic question mark of everything. Um, curiosity is, I won't say a thing in itself, but it's a subject in itself, a concept in itself, that uh, has to at least be examined. And the why of it seems to me at least to lead inescapably to the conclusion that there's an I. Um, and the because, that's just the way things are and there's no answer or that's a stupid question or don't ask why, seems to me to be um, irrational in that it seems to say you do not exist. That was uh, what uh, O'Brien said to uh, Winston Smith in 1984 that Winston Smith found so insane, which is something that he, that Winston Smith had to actually accept in order to be cured of his own sanity <laughs> in 1984. Um, <clears throat> you do not exist. Strikes me as the same sort of weird um, thinking that says, because something wants to know something is curious. Where does that come from? <laughs> if not from an I. This is not really a statement, I must confess, of the existence of an I. It's more on the line of another question, which, in a strange kind of way, clarifies things for me. Thank you.